I thought they were dead. <laughs>
against time, owning the laws of time and all that, but honestly, upon a rewatch, you can just tell it's not him and that it's going getting out of control. I could see that. Yeah. But yeah, in the moment, because they you're like rallied with him until you're like, hold up, you're going too far. So it's such a good pace, and I can get why on a rewatch it's much more evident that it's leading to him like yeah. going too far. Um, I think RJ even went, he snapped at some point during the doctor's whole fit. Oh, and yes, the music. Murray Gold, man. The guy really is gold. Okay, I'll see myself out and only come back in for the next episode, The End of Time, Part 1. God, we're approaching Series 5 so fast and I'm not ready, but I'm excited for this two-parter and look forward to your reaction. Thanks for the comment, says. Alright, last comments from Ricardo, who says, this is one of my... <clears throat> This is one of my all-time favorite episodes of Doctor Who. From the beginning, he knew the crew was doomed and that he couldn't get involved without being <clears throat> some kind of, without there being some kind of consequence. But at this point, he has suffered so many losses that he just didn't care about the rules anymore. He finally showed who the Doctor could be if he let himself go, which would be terrifying. Interestingly enough, an evil version of the Doctor was hinted at in the episode of the classic series and has been mentioned a few times in the current series. The next two-parter was my introduction to Doctor Who thanks to my friend who was a fan of it and had me watch it with him when it came out. I've been hooked ever since and will usually rewatch <coughs> excuse me, these two at least once a year because it's so good. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. Okay. Man, thanks for all the comments, guys. We'll Appreciate that. Out. Let's get into it right now. They call it the legend of the blue box. Oh. <laughs> Never been in here before. I'm not one for churches. Too cold. This was the site of a convent back in the 1300s. It said a demon fell from the sky. Then a man appeared. A man in a blue box. They called him the sainted physician. <laughs> he smoked the demon then disappeared. It was a bit of a coincidence. It said there's no such thing as coincidence. Who knows? Perhaps he's coming back. Oh, that would make my Christmas. Is that lady? Is she a ghost? Phosphorus carousel of the great Miguel and Gestapo. Take Stop. a planet from the red carnivorous moor. Maybe go to Allison. Got married. That was a mistake. Good Queen Bess. Let me tell you, her nickname is no longer. <clears throat> anyway, what do you want? You should not have delayed. Last time I was here, you said my song would be ending soon. And I'm in no hurry for that. You will come with me. Hold on. I like the TARDIS. <laughs> okay, like a car. I lo locked it like a car. But it's funny. Huh? No? A little bit. Blimey. Oh, Making me really laugh. So how old are you now, we would Sigma? Oh, come on, that is splendid. You've achieved all this now, long? 100 years. Then we've got a problem. Because all this is way too fast. 
not just the city, I mean your ability to call me. Pushing all the way back to the 21st century. Something's accelerating your species way beyond normal. And the mind of the Ood is troubled. Why? What's happened? Every night, Doctor. Every night we have bad dreams. slowly returning through the dark and the fire and the blood always returning returning to this world it is returning and he is returning and they are returning but too late too late far too late he is gone sit with the elder of you and share the dreaming so Paratroop 1 to Paratroop 2, we are mobilised, I repeat, we are mobilised. Rendezvous, 1,300 hours, over and out. What's he doing? President Obama, he's promised to end the recession. Bad times will soon be over, Ginger. Well, season's greetings, dear. And you, happy Christmas. So now, what can we get you, sir? Everything. I am so hungry. <laughs> They're saying that the president's got this grand plan. He's going to save the world with some big financial scheme. Uh -oh. Whatever it is, pretty much with you and me. Somebody's lively on his feet. Somebody's lively on his feet. <laughs> Yeah, for a couple of years. That's what you don't want to do. Eat it all at once. Tempting, I know. But if you make it last, it can last all day. Or more. With cheese and chips, and meat and gravy, and cream and beer, and pork and beef and fat, and quickly chunks of hot, wet, and red. Good for you, mate. Then we better go. You look like that bloke. I was Saxon. The one that went mad. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> isn't that just the best thing of all? The master of disguise. Stuck. Looking like the old Prime Minister. <laughs> I can't hide anywhere. He can see me. He can smell me. Can't let him smell me. Ginger, come with me. Right now. Because it's funny. Don't you see? Look at me. I'm splitting my sides. I am hilarious. I am the funniest thing in the whole wide world. <laughs> Some hard with some hard. I'm going back right to the four times?
hear you got there. Smell it. You the reason why I ain't got rolls right now. And she saw the police box, and her neighbor saw this man heading east. <laughs> they called them, reached out to all their contacts. No, I just said you were a doctor, that's all. And might I say, sir, it is an honor to see you again. Oh, but you never said he was a looker. He's gorgeous. He's a looker. Take a vote, Oh, Me next. I Minnie. Uh -oh. Minnie the Menace. It's a long time since I had a photo with a handsome man. It's been in the minutes. Oh, that's your old misery. Come on, Doctor, give us a smile. That's it. Hold on. Did it catch? No, there's a blue line. Try again. Maybe. More fingers <laughs> and I'm, I'm really kind of busy, you know. Oh, it won't take a tick. Keep smiling. Is that your hand, Minnie? Good boy. Minnie the... If I'm killed before regeneration, then I'm dead. Even then, even if I change, it feels like dying. Everything I am dies. Some new man goes sauntering away. And I'm dead. Sorry, but I had to. Look, can't you make up that other stuff? No, but you're so clever. Can't you bring her memory back? Let me just go to her now. Go on, just run across the street. Go up and say hello. If she ever remembers me, her mind will burn and she will die. Don't you watch me. Oh. <laughs> Don't you watch me. She's not changed. No. <laughs> oh, there he is. Sean Temple. So engaged. Getting married in the spring. Another wedding. Yeah. Hold on, she's not going to be called Noble Temple. It sounds like a tourist spot. No, it's Temple Noble. Right. Is she happy? Is he nice? Yeah, he's sweet enough. He's a bit of a dreamer. Mind you, he's, he's on minimum wage. She's only tough and so all they can afford is a tiny little flat. And then sometimes I see this look on her face, like she's so sad that she can't remember uh. why. She's got him. She's making do. Aren't we all? Yeah, how well. about you? What have you got now? No. Totally alone. But I did some things that went wrong. I need. <laughs> oh, my <Goodness>. word. <sighs> now, yeah. so this might be nice. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Don't you see? You know, you'll need her, Doctor. I mean, look, wouldn't she make you laugh again? Good old Donna. I 
And so it came to pass that the players took their final places, making ready the events that were to come. A madman sat in his empire of dust and ashes, little knowing of the glory he would achieve. While his savior looked upon the wilderness in the hope of changing his inevitable fate. Far away, the idiots and fools dreamt of a shining new future. A future now doomed to never happen. As earth rolled onwards into night, the people of that world did sleep and shiver, somehow knowing the dawn would bring only one thing, the final day. Hey, it is Eel. Oh, that is him. But who's that? Chuck. I thought we'd about to go off. Me too. Me too. Strange that she had a funny little moment this morning, all because of that book. What book? No, his name's Joshua Naismith. That's the man. I was shown by the Ood. By the what? By the Ood. What's the Ood? It's just the Ood. It's all part of the universe. It's the Ood. Maybe touching Donna's subconscious. Oh, she's still fighting for it even now. The doctor, Donna. Dad, look at you acting. Yeah, 
to the boat and get yeah, them. Anyway, the device came equipped with its own power supply. A nuclear bolt. One technician remains in charge of the feedback 24 hours a day. And the power feeds through to the gate. Where it encourages some sort of cellular regeneration. And Miss Hollins was our test subject. She carried some burns as a result of an accident when she was a child and down her left side. Good. The gate mended her. Thank you. But what are you wanted for? We calculate that if this device can be fully repaired by your good self, it can restore the body forever. Hence its given title, the Immortality Gate. Immortality. Because that's what I want. Not for me, but for my... Now... Please don't imagine I'm a slave driver. You can resume work on boxing then, Mr. Sass. My name is the Master. Let's go in there himself. Visitor will be restrained. What? But I repaired it. I'm not an idiot. Don't let him anywhere near that thing. <laughs> How's it working, Bob? What is it? What's working? What are you doing here? Shimmer! Shimmer! Now, tell me quickly what's going on, the master. How much that? Skeletor, whatever you're calling him, what are you doing up there? Your reputation precedes you, sir. I have no doubt you've laid traps. Perhaps explosives. A means of escape. Murder. But everything you've done to the gate will be checked and double-checked before anyone stands inside. Run the gate up right now! Whatever you do, just don't let him near that device! Oh, like that was ever gonna happen. I'm just bad at my time. Do suckers! Homeless was I. Destitute and dying. Well, look at me now! Deactivate him, all of you! Turn the whole thing off! <laughs> Inside my head. <laughs> Doctor! Doctor, there's, there's his face. What is it? Can you see? What? Oh, it's him. I can see him. I can't see him in his face. You could be affecting the president. <laughs> I'm very into They're not showing his face at all, babe. Right? Can't turn it off. That's because I locked it, idiot. Well, great! Idiot. He needs a third of the levels. Oh! I can see him here and he's gone! Radiation chilling. Now press the button, honey. You know what? I can't get out until you press the button. That button there! 50 seconds. And counting. Oh, 
So we got a mislead with our villain, um, the master. I don't know if that was good word choice though at the end of the master race. I mean, I think they were doing that intentional. As intentional, well. yeah. But okay, that was a bit whitish right there. But it, it, it I, you know, it is what it is. Um, that was pretty clever of the master. I mean, I expect nothing less, right? Turn every human on planet into him, except for Donna. And the doctor, and Donna's granddaddy. There's only three that are not turned. I don't know why Donna didn't get turned. Maybe just because she has doctor now. Yeah. So I guess she's good with that. And then the, the granddaddy's good because he locked up in the radiation uh, chamber in there. But I mean, it was an excellent episode right here. Very emotional with the doctor. I mean, wow, good acting on that. I felt that like he 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 felt like he he messed up a lot. So that was good redemption face. Um, but little does he know what's about to go down. What is he about to experience? It's about to blow his whole world. This is about to make him speechless. All this time thinking that there is no more Time Lords. He's the last of his last. You I know, mean, there ha it has been no more Time Lords. Yeah. Some, this is obviously a catalyst that like created a situation in which, I don't know, maybe it's like a fell safe or something. Like at the end of times, if one of us, I don't know. I mean, but there's like, a lot of them. Right I know, there. but they literally do not exist anymore. Right. So, like, so what had happened to bring them back? I'm telling you, something that the master just did was a catalyst to like. But I mean, the they, were, they were coming before the master did this. So I mean, no, like, they're narrating it because uh, they're time lords and they know all the things oh, that happen. Oh, happen. Yeah. So okay, but even 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 still, right? When they get here and they be like, "Hey, Gallifrey boy, you a citizen of Gallifrey? What's up?" Uh, Doctor, you remember me? I used to play ball with your daddy. Shit like that, right? And they're going to be like, ooh, where the fuck y'all come from? How y'all come from? They might explain it. But either way, I think it's going to be speechless when he show up. And they making it seem like they're finna be, they finna be the bad, bad guys. But it turns out, they, they look like they're just on a search of revenge. I'm assuming, right? I mean, they gotta fix what the map you need. They definitely you need, need an army that. of time lords to take out the a whole planet, planet full, full of masters. Of masters. So yeah, yeah. Um, good showdown about to happen right here. This is gonna be Avengers level um, showdown in the next episode right here. And I'm here for all that with our three people plus the time lords in a battle for humanity. Let's get it. Um, I love this episode for a number of reasons. One, the emotional impact. Both. Very with, good. With David Tennant's acting in there. Like, I almost lost it. And then the whole granddad, Wilfred, trying to, like, talk, uh, get him to, like, get Donna back. And then even the doctor's reaction to Donna. I was like, y'all, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to mm -hmm. lose it. Um, but I kept it together. But all of that was really good. Um, seeing the master back and seeing how... I mean, they even heightened his crazy. Like, he's literally killing himself by extending all of his powers and all of that. Um, as far as, like, the master plan, so to speak, of what he was able to execute at the end, genius! I could not figure out for the life of me what he was trying to do. I thought he was just going to take them out or, like, make them follow him or something, but, like, did not see that coming at all. So I thought that was very creative as far as the twist with that specifically. My... Honestly, my biggest highlight, though, of the episode was the narration of Oh Dude that we know from so many things. Ooh, yeah. um, I thought his Chuck. cadence, um, halfway through where, like, you first get to see him when they're building up the storyline, I got goosebumps. I was just like, this is so mm. epic. And then, obviously, the music score was, like, next level. I was like, this goes yeah. hard. That was intense. Um, and to see the reveal now at the end that it is the Time Lords that essentially... I think it is, like, race. like, a catalyst that, like, opened up this, like, safety, rift in time, rift in time and, like, if this happens, there's a pocket of time that we've set aside that we can come through, but it's only for this situation, and then they're going to be gone again. So then there was obviously something that happened in one of the episodes that threw all this whole thing into motion. I mean, I think it's what the master did just now is what. You think that's because that's one? literally what yeah. he that's just like said. That's like the biggest thing he that ever happened. He legitimately just said in the narration, like unbeknownst to him, 
what other things he he doesn't even know what catalyst he's done now. Oh, okay. Did. So all right. So um, that, yeah. And the fact that that is like the the time lord main person to play by that scene. guy. I'm just so excited about this. Yeah. To your point, I absolutely feel the same. Like I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> see the doctor's face honestly the master's face too when they all yeah, roll they, up they oh my god happen, yeah. their reaction is gonna be so great so i'm like we we are reactors but i'm here for their reactions you know what i'm saying uh -huh. in the next episode so really great episode uh not at all what i was expecting like it surprised the shit out of me so that's really cool um uh, very excited to see how it plays out in the second part mm-hmm uh -huh. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Doctor Who, the end of time part one. And until next time, peace.